Hello and welcome to another Timeless Gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a black, green, goblin, charbelcher combo deck. And what's unique about charbelcher decks is that they often don't play any lands. That way we can cast goblin charbelcher, activate it, revealing our entire deck, and then often dealing over 45 damage to win the game on the spot. So that's our goal, cast charbelcher, activate it, and to win the game. Now of course, how do we cast a charbelcher if we don't have any lands? Well, we actually do still have lands. They're simply on the back sides of some of our dual cards. Most of these of course will enter the battlefield tapped, so that's the major drawback, but we also have four copies of Turn Timber Symbiosis and Agadim's Awakening, which can be played untapped as a land at a cost of three life, so that can still speed up our combo. And then another very important piece of the puzzle here is our one-off restricted copy of Channel, and we're taking full advantage of it here, a double green spell that lets us pay life to add colorless mana to our mana pool, so by casting Channel we can now pay seven life to cast and activate Goblin Charbelcher to win the game on the spot. And we're going to try to abuse the fact that we've got one channel in the deck by searching it up with our various tutor effects, including our one of Restricted Demonic Tutor. So we've got two of the three Restricted cards in Timeless in our deck. And then we also have four copies of Wishclaw Talisman, two mana to play, one to activate to find any card in our deck. Now, of course, the opponent will gain control of Wishclaw Talisman, so usually we're only going to activate it the same turn we plan to combo off and to win the game. And then we also have a one-off Assemble the Team, which lets us look at the top third of our library. So it's not guaranteed to find our one-off channel, but sometimes finding a Charbelcher is still useful. And then we also have four copies of Dark Ritual, which can potentially speed up our combo. Sometimes we can cast Dark Ritual to simply hard cast a Charbelcher on turn two. And then turn three with an untapped land, we can activate it and also win the game without needing channel. So Dark Ritual is also very important, especially if we try to cast Beseech the Mirror, another tutor effect which does require us to bargain an artifact typically in this deck so we can immediately cast a spell with mana value 4 or less and that way we can potentially find our one-off channel to cast it if we already have a Charbelcher in hand to make all the mana we need. Sometimes we can immediately find the Charbelcher and then if we have the mana to activate it we can also win or we can maybe activate it on the following turn. And to add even more redundancy in this deck, we've got four copies of Karnath the Great Creator, which is why we only have three Charbelchers in the main deck, so we can add one to our seven card sideboard in best of one, and that way Karn gets access to Charbelcher, meaning we have virtually seven copies of Goblin Charbelcher in the main deck, making it a lot more consistent. And of course, if we're casting Channel, we can easily cast the Karn first, just paying for more life, using the minus two, getting Charbelcher and activate to win. Now, of course, Karn offers a bit more utility as well, shutting down opposing artifacts, including maybe a Wishclaw Talisman that we gave to our opponent, so that's another cute synergy. And then we can also use the minus two to get other sideboard options, like Tormod Script to shut down graveyards, Haywire Might can deal with artifacts and enchantments, maybe our opponent has a Pithing Needle in play that we need to blow up with our Haywire Might, and then we've got our own Pithing Needle to shut down activated abilities. Liquid Metal Coating has great synergy with Karn, can also be used to blow up opposing lands, and then we've got Sky Sovereign to deal with problematic creatures and Treasure Vault, in case we just need to hit our land drop for the turn, also counts as an artifact. But for the most part, 99% of the time we're just going to get a Goblin Charbelcher. And then we've got a few artifacts as well to help enable Beseech the Mirror. We've got Mishra's Bauble at zero mana, which can be used to sacrifice and draw a card, so just a cheap cantrip. And then a Chromatic Star, Terrarion, and Wizard's Rockets can also be used as cantrips. If we sacrifice them to Beseech the Mirror, they will still draw us a card. But more importantly, they're also important to fix our colors, because we have a pretty poor mana base, not having any dual lands. Sometimes we only have green mana, and we need to convert green into black to cast some of our tutor effects. Sometimes we have a bunch of black mana, especially from Dark Ritual, and we would like to convert it into green mana to sometimes cast our channel, and then our mana fixers can also come in handy, and they can also maybe save us if we're underneath a Blood Moon, so that has additional utility there as well. And of course they're important to sacrifice to our Beseech the Mirror, which requires an artifact for bargain. So yeah, that's pretty much our deck, so let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play, facing a Lurus deck. And we can assemble the team, ideally finding channel, if not Talisman can tutor for it. And then Rockets fix for double green. And then we might be able to combo off. Now I don't want to take too much damage off my Awakening, especially for up against the Burn deck. So for now let's just play a tank Recovery. And yep, bump in the knights. Our opponent is on the burn deck, which is a pretty bad matchup. 
because they can usually get us below the life total where we would need to channel and then cast a Charbelcher. Now that being said, the Drawing Dark Ritual allows me to just cast a Charbelcher right now and then next turn activate, so that's the easier solution. They usually don't have artifact removal and uh, we just need four or more life to play the Awakening and activate Charbelcher. So we don't always need channel to win the game. Opponent found Eidolon, play with fire. And yeah, probably could even wait another turn, just play it tapped and then next turn go for it, but there's no need. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and this hand is not doing a whole lot. We don't have Karn or Charbelcher. So it's Rockets eventually make some black mana for Beseech, and we can't even bargain. So yeah, this is a mulligan. This one definitely has more potential. Still missing something like a channel, although we could Talisman to get it. And then I want to keep all the lands. Chromatic Star can go. And then lead with, doesn't matter too much, one of the tap lands. And then Terrarion can fix for the double green we need to cast channel. Turn on death right, it's not too scary. So might as well wait on casting the talisman, unless we're afraid of a discard spell, in which case playing it now could be better. So I'll just play it slow and protect our life total a bit more. And then next turn I can potentially still cast talisman and activate it, or I can wait until I activate it and then cast channel in the same turn so we can immediately win the game. Okay, so next up, I guess cast a talisman, see what happens. And then, yeah, next turn I think we're gonna go for it. Can also just hard cast a Charbelcher. But yeah, Talisman, get channel, cast channel through Terrarion, and then we can immediately cast Charbelcher to win the game. Opponent is being patient, we actually picked up a Dark Ritual. So if we don't want to Talisman for channel and get channel countered, which could be bad, I could just go for Dark Ritual into Charbelcher, and then if they counter the Charbelcher, we can still get there next turn with Karn if we uh, get the channel. Because yeah, if we go for Talisman, get channel, and our opponent has a counter spell with Talisman, they would be able to get a second interactive card. So let's just avoid that situation altogether. And then I guess there's no need to cast the Dark Ritual yet. Now, of course, there is a chance that our opponent has something that can destroy artifacts. Although Counterspell is still more likely. Drowning their own death rites. That's interesting. And our opponent concedes. Alright, I guess they don't have answers to a Charbelcher. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. And what do we think of our hand? We've got a ritual to set up an early besiege. Get channel and then channel with uh, Karn can get access to Charbelcher. We're up against the Lurus deck, so if they're on burn, we may not have a lot of life to work with, but uh, I'll give it a shot. We also have a Talisman we can activate, or we can keep it to sacrifice to bargain. For now, tap land is fine. Wooded Foothills. Could be played in the burn deck, although we'll see. At least we don't have to worry about Blood Moon because our opponent's playing Lurus. Turn on Ragavan's pretty good. So I could technically Dark Ritual and then Talisman activate, but I don't think that gets us anywhere. So if we go for Symbiosis down to 17, Ragavan down to 15, take another 3 next turn for Awakening. 
Our life total is dwindling, but we might be able to set up the win next turn. So I'm hoping they don't fire off a few burn spells here. I'm blood crypt for Swiss spear. All right, so we're gonna take some damage. Bobble free prowess. So now going for Channel of Beseech the Mirror and then Karn for Charbelcher is probably not going to be good enough. Opponent passes, alright, so possible they have a Lightning Bolt in hand, but it's strange that they didn't just fire it off right away. So I'm a little bit perplexed. Possible they have some conditional burn spells that only target creatures, like Searing Blood. But yeah, let's say we Dark Ritual, I can Beseech. Sacking Talisman, and then at 13 I'll essentially need to pay 11 life to cast Karn. Charbelcher activates. Is there a better line available though? Giving the opponent an extra turn doesn't seem like a solution. If I activate Talisman, it's not like I have double green to cast a channel. So I think we still give this a try. But it does seem like our opponent has something they can cast at instant speed. So we're probably just going to lose to our own channel here. I guess an alternative line is to just get the Charbelcher. And then... Next turn we can activate it. Hoping they can deal 13 damage. Maybe that's more realistic. As opposed to going for channel here. So we stay at 13. Can play a tapped consumption. And we'll see if they can deal 13 damage. Opponent had a Bowmasters. That wouldn't necessarily have killed us. I think we would have been at one life. Play with fires plus three, so that's eight. Yeah, that's uh, getting close. Secure, ouch. So yeah, we might be dead now. Five, six, seven, Exaxes. And they had a light up the stage for one more prowess. Yeah, I guess uh, going for channel might have worked out better. But uh, yeah, still kind of a hard call to make. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a one lander. We do have Channel and Terrarion for color fixing. So, best case scenario, we draw, of course, a land. An untapped one would speed things up by a turn. Because right now we're looking to maybe combo on turn 3. Turn 1, tapped Consumption. Turn 2, cast a Terrarion. And then turn 3, if we've seen a land in the meantime, we can double green, channel, cast Charbelcher, activate. If our opponent's got a discard spell, takes Channel, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. So I don't love this hand, but on the draw with an extra draw towards a land, I'll give it a shot for science. And this is why I like Terrarion over Chromatic Star, just because sometimes you need double green off multiple black sources. A Windswept Heath, opponent also not playing a companion. And Death Rites. Car, not exactly what we were hoping to find. There was also a chance where opponent has a thought seize on turn one, takes her only land, and uh, leaves us with no lands whatsoever. So that's also the risk of these dual faced cards. Is there opponent on black, green, Warmaster? Alright, so elves. And we found a land, perfect. So next turn we can combo off. And I don't think the elf deck is capable of dealing 19 damage from this position, even though they can cast a uh, natural order for Crater Hoof. That's not quite enough. Now, of course, we do still need 7 life to be able to channel Charbelcher Activate. So if they go for Crater Hoof, they could potentially prevent us from comboing off, but uh, I don't think our opponent's likely to make that play. All right, never mind. This is a natural order, so opponent's going for it. 
and gets an Atraxa, makes sense. So no Crater Hoof. Had they gotten Crater Hoof, how much damage are we taking here? 4 plus uh, 7 is 11, so we would be at 8, which is still enough to channel Charbelcher Activate. So it would not have been lethal. Opponent actually found a Boseju. Dark Ritual, so it's more of a combo deck than kind of your traditional elf deck. Alright, found a Dark Ritual, which I guess doesn't hurt. Saves us a bit of life, so we don't need to channel for as much. Okay, it's a channel. Okay, Charbelcher. Could even get there without Charbelcher, just with Karn getting one out of the sideboard. And there we have it. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. And our hand is... functional, I think. We've got three lands, two of them untapped. And then both Tudor and Assemble the team. So between the two of them we can get Channel and Charbelcher. Opponent on the ramp deck. Okay. And Dark Ritual was a great draw too. So we could already Dark Ritual cast a Demonic Tutor. But uh, I think I'm better off saving it for a later. And then for now just go bobble the opponents. And a tap Florahedron. So we've got all the lands we need. And a talisman. Alright, so what's the most consistent way of getting there? If we can prevent exposing Charbelcher to Buseju, that would also be good. So I really do want to get a channel here to combo off in one turn. If I assemble, I'm likely to find either Karn, Charbelcher, or uh, channel itself. And then with Tutor, we can get the missing piece for 2 mana as opposed to 3 mana for Talisman, but I don't think the mana difference really matters. So I could just Tutor for Channel right now, and then next turn cast Channel, Talisman gets Charbelcher, and that should be game. So let's go for the more guaranteed line. If opponent does have Boseju, they could still hit my land, I suppose. And get channel. One restricted card getting another restricted card. Alright, so we should be in the clear. Cast channel. Talisman. Activate Talisman. Could also be using the Colos mana instead of the black mana. But it doesn't really matter. And that should be enough damage. Bonan did have the Boseju, it seems. But uh, destroying Charbelcher doesn't stop the trigger. And our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. And uh, yeah, this hand seems powerful. We've got both Demonic Tutor and Dark Ritual. And uh, yeah, a couple of lands, some mana fixing. Opponent on the Geist deck. Gonna fragment reality their own ley line to put a Geist in play on turn one. Alright, so we're gonna be under quite a bit of pressure. At least we don't have to worry too much about interaction. But yeah, next turn already taking six, so we don't have a lot of time. So being on the draw here could mean we are just gonna be a turn too slow. So yeah, what's the absolute fastest way we can combo? Probably just... Um, Tutor on turn 2 for channel, and then turn after we can go off, so that's turn 3. Opponent's gonna have attacked us with Geist at least twice, and I'll take another 3 off Awakening. 
So that's uh, 12, 15 damage, leaving us 5 life, which is not enough to channel for uh, Charbelcher. And I'm trying to think if there's a line where we just hope to top deck a specific card and sequence differently, but I can't think of one. Ethereal Armor is going to speed up the clock as well. And a Griff Spoon. So we're taking 10. And then next turn we're just dead. Yeah, the Geist matchup seems pretty rough. Also, if our opponent starts with a Leyline of Sanctity on the battlefield, we can't even target them with a Charbelcher, so we would need to find an answer to it first. So... I can Dark Ritual... Demonic Tutor... And that's where the fun ends. Okay, that's Demonic Tutor. And get Channel or Charbelcher, but... Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. We've got a two-lander, lots of artifacts, and a demonic tutor. I don't think this is good enough. Uh, this hand's got three lanes. Talisman to get channel, and then Karn could win the game. Although on the draw, this could be too slow, especially with three tap lanes. But uh, at least we have a game plan, so I think I still try it. And then Besiege may not be necessary. Can use Terrarion to fix for double green to cast a channel. And then we need Karn as our win condition. Opponent with Mitra's Bobble. They're quickly gonna find out what we're up to, but opponent bobbles themselves. Alright, Dark Ritual could speed things up. So, play attack plan, pass it back. So, we're gonna try to just combo off in one big turn. Which means I'll save the Dark Ritual until we're ready to go. Still don't know what our opponent's up to, which could also affect our sequencing. If they're playing counter spells, things could get a little bit tricky. And now a Dash Ragavan. So yeah, they're likely to be playing counter spell. Maybe they're also a Blood Moon deck, which wouldn't be too surprising. And uh, at least we have Terrarion to fix our colors, but Blood Moon could still be pretty annoying. Okay, so next turn is probably still a setup turn with Talisman, and then turn after we can maybe combo. At least they're not dealing a ton of damage to me. Another Dash Ragavan. But I have to imagine our opponent has at least one counterspell in hand. And uh, yeah, right now that could be enough. Play Talisman. Possible they counter this. Iteration goes digging. So best case scenario, her opponent just taps out without interacting meaningfully. If they cast a Blood Moon now, I don't think we really care too much. Although, let's see, I guess Terrarion then wouldn't be able to make the double green for channel if we also need blank for dark ritual. But uh, we just need to talisman for channel, so we don't even need to make black mana for a ritual necessarily. Put in brainstorms. Probably gonna see a fetch land. Steam vents untapped, so... Opponent not uh, replaying Ragavan, so heavily implies some interaction here. 
So it's not uh, the safest turn to necessarily make a big move. What's the alternative? Yeah, I guess we just cast a bunch of trinkets and then next turn we can sacrifice them and see what else we draw. If they just cast a lightning bolt end of turn down to 13. I think we'll still be able to get there. Yeah, we just need to top deck another win condition, so one counter spell is not the end of the world. But now they're also maybe at a point where they've got multiples in hand that they can keep up. So the opponent's gonna cast Dragovan instead of dashing it. And we top deck channel, that's a big deal. So we can start by casting channel, and then if that resolves, we've got way more mana to work with, so they're probably going to counter it. Alright, that resolved. So now I feel pretty confident. I guess we still have to watch out for multiple lightning bolts. But let's cast a dark ritual to make a bit more mana. And then maybe start with Karn, get Charbelcher, and then they might counter Charbelcher, but then we can Talisman to get another one. And this will also shut down their treasures. So they kind of need to counter Karn if they still want to use them. That opponent's going to charm Karn. So that happens. So they could still have two mana counter spell in hand. I guess I can sack Terrarion here. See if I find anything useful. And drawing another Charbelcher, I guess, would solve our problem. So we'll sack another Terrarion. Can maybe bobble myself, but I want to make use of channel while we have it. That resolves. Sack another Terrarion. Find another Talisman. Okay, so now we've got the redundancy we need. Make sure to keep black mana. Catch our Belcher. Cast Charbelcher, and if that resolves, we can use our black mana. And unless our opponent has a Stifle to counter the trigger, that should be game, and our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we've got a double Dark Ritual opener. So yeah, hard cast Charbelcher and then activate it is going to be our plan. Wouldn't mind drawing an untapped land here with our early cantrips. Sank this now before opponent flashes in a Bowmasters. A Liliana, not the end of the world here. Talisman could also be helpful, so if we ritual we can Talisman activate. So let's see, if we yeah just play Wizard's Rockets, then next turn we can ritual Talisman activate. And then I guess we would still need double green, which we can also get thanks to the second Dark Ritual channel and then Charbelcher win the game. So that works. Can play another bobble, but do need to sacrifice it. Could have also kept it in hand, I suppose. Might see a Bowmaster's end of turn. Yeah, maybe I should have kept Bobble in hand, so I discard it to the Liliana. But if our opponents play next turn as Liliana plus, I just discard a Wizard's Rockets and then we still win the game. So we're at 17. And there's Liliana. Alright. That should do it.
You won't be outsmarting me. So we want to double dark ritual. Almost seven of mana to just Charbel to activate, but we'll have to go for the slightly more convoluted route. And get channel. Rockets makes double green. And an extra Dark Ritual can save us a little bit more damage, I suppose. Play Charbelcher, activate. And that'll do it. Sweet. So yeah, we got to see our Charbelcher go off a few times. And uh, overall, I'm positively impressed by the deck's performance, thought it would be a little bit too clunky and slow for Timeless, but uh, for the most part I think we can keep up with some of the faster combo decks in the format, which is a good sign, and it definitely attacks from a unique angle, so if the opponents aren't prepared, then uh, this combo can potentially catch them off guard, and we're not susceptible to graveyard hate, unlike some other combo decks in the format. Bowmasters on the battlefield also doesn't interfere with our combo, unlike the uh, Beseech Mirror combo I featured a few days ago. So yeah, overall, have a lot of positive things to say about Charbelcher combo in the format, and there's still potentially room for improvement when it comes to the deck list itself, but I've been pretty happy with it so far. So yeah, that'll do it for today's gameplay. I wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!